Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our monthly Angel Scope for the month of August 2020 for the sign of Pisces. So let's, before I begin, um, I'd like to remind you, for those of you who may be new to my channel, um, that for the month of August, I've been offering my half hour reading for $77 for a full hour as a special offer during the pandemic. I've been doing it since some point during the pandemic and will continue to do so until such time. And um, so if you've been looking to have an angel reading after you've watched this video, you can um, check out my webpage. There's a link in the description below um, at the angelschool.com, the services page. When you go to that page, there's no special offer um, payment there. You would just choose this $77 um, half hour reading and within 24 hours on a business day, not the weekend, I will send you a confirmation email of your payment and noting the special offer for the full hour. Okay. Um, also, we have weekly angel tarot card readings, um, which go into more depth for each week, as well as um, a daily card message post, which is written. You can find that on my Facebook page, which you can find in the description link below, or you can um, subscribe to this channel and you can read it on YouTube post. Okay. All right. So let's take a deep breath together and really connect in with the, the energies of your heart space, your I am presence. I'm seeing some kind of beautiful um, tropical flower sitting on a coffee table near a window, a bay windows. And there's such a beautiful, peaceful setting. It sort of feels like um, a little cove. So, and, and <laughs> It just seems like a little, a very um, cozy spot in someone's home and the sunlight it's like sort of comes in. It feels like um, evening uh, before at sunset or something. And, um, and so the, the energy um, that's sort of coming through for Pisces is it almost feels like something intimate and it feels like, you know, like you're taking more time um, for yourself to mm, pay more attention to the abundance that's around you, okay? To pay attention to the tranquility. It feels like a, t a time to, of appreciation, of focusing on love, and you know the things that you love, the people you love, um, and time of gratitude. And it keeps showing me mushrooms, um, which is also my sign for fairies, um, as well as abundance. And I'm seeing the word manifestation. And so you may have questions, you may have some concerns or worries. Um, but what they're giving me this sense that if you, you know, and they say it's so easy for you, Pisces, and I'm a Pisces, I understand this. You know, if you just find that beautiful thing, um, my friend and I, find that, well, finally I'm doing yoga, <laughs> and a friend of mine, um, she, um, you know, does yoga, has been practicing for a long time. And we went out and um, on a campus, at City College, it's so beautiful where this, um, their science research building and innovation building is, is just so beautiful and picturesque. And uh, the way the architecture and the grass and the ground landscape is done, and it's so inspiring. 
And uh, we've you know, been joking for days now, oh, I want to go here. I want to just go major in neuroscience or something like this, just so I can go to this building, um, go to school in this building. But something like this, it makes you feel so good. It inspires you. And when you feel this way, Pisces, because you're all, it's all about your feelings, it just immediately transforms you. And um, it becomes, it's very easy, what they're getting at, for you to change your point of attraction. Because you're that water and that ability, the mutability to just f go with the flow. And all you need to do is focus on things that bring you joy, um, the, 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 the things that you notice, the things that other people don't notice. You can find the beauty in, in the, the, like a, a foliage of writing. Um, and so even a plant might just inspire you so much and rejuvenate your energy and just help, you know, causes you to fall in love. And so that those concerns and those other things that they were descri uh, describing, which I forgot what they said, but it, it would get you off of that and, um, and help you to practice this appreciation that would just draw towards you uh, abundance, an abundance of rewards and gifts um, that you deserve, okay? So there's two parts of that I feel like you need this time to kind of, I don't know, it just feels like there's been a lot of confusion um, around you and they're writing out compassionate like three times. Um, you're so compassionate, but you know, when you're like that, it kind of drains, like when you're busy being compassionate to other people, it, it, you get so involved, it brings your energy down. And you need to bring your energy back up by surrounding yourself with plants and beautiful things, or going to beautiful places in nature, um, you know, finding that little, that little nook somewhere in nature that just makes you feel so powerful. This would be such a huge investment in your vibration, which is your point of attraction, which will turn your energy, your spiritual energy, into these vibrant, intuitive messages from the universe that will make you feel so connected, uh, like, like you're a cell tower of possibilities and opportunities that are accumulating just for you at this moment. So let's take a look at the card to connect in to see which archangel and the message that that archangel has for you. Perfect. California dreamer, right? <laughs> um, yeah, you're a dreamer, the dreamer. You're the fool. You're the, the hopeless. Well, not, you know, you're the romantic. You're the idealist. You, you, you have enormous faith and incredible faith. And that's how you're able to inspire others. But you need some inner reflection so it doesn't bring you down, um, so that you're being lifted up and, you know, this end times sort of energy. You know, a lot of people are really afraid, like they're, you know, and you know, you have this sense that things are going to be all right, even though they're not going to be easy to to go through but you know things are going to be all right and it makes you so sort of like the scent the eye of the storm and so that people they want to get they want to get inside it they want to get in your eye of the, you know they want to be in that center with you and you hold them there when they are about to you know lose all self of sense of hope and um so you definitely need to pull, I feel like boundaries, pull yourself to, you know, pull some time, take some huge chunks of time out for yourself in this month um, to uplift yourself, to nurture yourself, to inspire yourself, to connect in the things that inspire you, to make you feel good. If it's something like playing music or, you know, or, or painting or whatever artistic thing that allows you to dream those dreams in your imagination and you know trust trust us uh, Pisces we know that our imaginations are powerful and they do a lot of mani manifestation work on behalf of the planet 
there may be a lot of things that you find that you wish for yourself and you dream, daydream for yourself endlessly, and you see it pop up in other places of the world. I've had those experiences with a very famous couple, as, as a matter of fact. I didn't know I was going to that that would happen, but it just did. So don't discredit your daydreams. You do work for the planet in that way as well. All right. Um, let's t- take a look at the message from your guardian angel. All right. Go within. So see, perfect message. The, the high priestess, which goes so well with who you are, Pisces, right? So, um, you know, dream those dreams and be aware of the dreams you dream within. Because those dreams will manifest, if not for you, somewhere else in the world. So... Yeah, you may not always, you may be like, when is my time coming? But just be so appreciative of your gift. So for some reason, um, the rest of what I was saying got cut off from this message. And it's so interesting because there's so much that was um, coming through that I never thought of about um, this idea of the uh, Pisces, you know, going within and, um, you know, daydreaming and that we are, we're so in tune with the universe and with the matrix of creation that when you daydream, you are so malleable that you um, become one with the matrix of creation and literally offer um, new dreams, like the fool, new dreams to the entirety of creation so that somewhere in the universe, someone is living out what you've created in your dreams. And so it's, it's a very powerful thing. I don't know if I said too much <laughs> for ears. So um, it, it's the I was just hearing all of that for the fir- very first time. It was just clicking, um, and it just sort of happened. So um, I will continue um, just sort of to to finish up. Uh, anyway, it should have been rounding up, but, but I didn't realize that I had been talking, and the videos for some reason stopped. So everything happens for a reason, um, and we'll embrace that. Um, so just um, allow yourself... In this month, and one of the things I, w- I think I was saying that you know sometimes you may find that you feel like you don't get a lot of things accomplished because it's so easy for you to go off into a daydream, right? And you have to pull yourself back so often. Like if you're reading a book, you go off and you have to come back. Um, but the whole idea was that know that you're you're contributing. Your your dreams um, are a major contribution to ideas and things and that the things that you dream or daydream is uploaded to the um, to the universe and it's shared and it's captured in others imaginations and so you're contributing in that way Pisces but the, but the overall message was for you was to go within and this card confirmed that um, so that you take some time for yourself to, um, you know, because um, I don't know if this part came, I don't know if I repeated myself, but, you know, the, that you have this, a lot of people are coming to you because of the, sort of this sense of end times, and, and um, you are like the eye of a storm because you, you always feel safe no matter how much you feel is you know how much you feel the challenges will be and you're always exposed and so you're used to um, this being open to the energies and being open to the truth of the moment that um, you sort of reside in this eye of the storm and people other people are drawn to you and want to get in that eye of the storm that you um, shine and so they need um, but you need some time to now um, recoup your own energies and um, and so f- reflecting on beautiful things clears your energy, releases your it helps you release 
energies, psychic energies, immediately. They just dissolve in, in your joy, your ability um, to be inspired and to um, give joy. So the card says, you are a very intuitive person and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation and prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. Okay? And so that is to say, because you are contributing in this other way where you don't always see the results, but your, your results are all around you, omnipresent throughout the universe, that, um, you know, be patient with yourself. Be patient for you to, for the things that you want to come in. But when they come in, they're going to come in strong. And I feel like this is a time for you, but you need to keep, raise your vibration. Okay? So I send you lots of love and angel blessings. And I apologize for some of the, whatever may have been repeated. Um, but hopefully I did not to do that too much. So have a beautiful month, Pisces. This is a beautiful, um, consoling message for you. And, um, and when you know you raise your vibrations, you auto, when you raise your vibration, you automatically attract things to you. And so that's what, why it's important that you don't let everything bring you down and then not do anything. Take time for yourself to rejuvenate yourself. Okay? All right. So have a beautiful month and God bless you.